I have my two blocks here. I have them cut to size and I have them traced with the contour of the body on it. So I have my tail block, which goes at the bottom, and then I have my heel slash neck block. Notice I'm wearing gloves. We're gonna sand that radius on the belt sander. I recommend wearing gloves. That way if my finger were to slip, the gloves could protect my fingers. So if we look at this, you can see the line is still there, but this has been totally sanded. So I want to keep this as thick as possible. So I don't have to go to my line, but I do need this all sanded. I'm going to redo my center line on this, and then this one will be done, and then I can do the other one. We have our guitar sides cut the length, they're in the frame, but if you notice we have some new in the frame, we have wax paper. Ukulele gluing your sides together, you may have done it outside of frame. I like gluing guitars inside the frame, so we have wax paper here so that we don't glue the guitar to the frame. Now, one of the tricky parts here is, I'm gonna put a little tension off the frame, and I wanna get glue on that seam. So I think I'm just gonna put a little there and then use my finger. Cause this could get messy really quick if you're not careful. Okay, now back apart, bind them up and I'm gonna slowly bring my frame back in. When you do this step that I'm about to show, it's nice to have about half the wood above the frame and half the wood below the frame. Heel block, tail block. Always getting those names confused. But you notice that I transferred all my center lines around. This has already been radius, so it should match there. So take my glue. And I do like spreading it out with my finger. That way you know if you have a good coverage. And you also know if you put too much on, like I probably did here. But whenever we're gluing, we have paper towels handy. A nice coat on there. And now, if we didn't make sure we were staying on center, center line lined up with my seam and with the frame. And now I'll just take a clamp up here and I'm clamping the block to the guitar. You could clamp the block to the guitar and the frame all in one, but I'm just gluing the block to the guitar right now. And I'm gonna take these and lay them down because my next step is flipping this whole thing over. And now it'll lay on those clamps because I laid them down. And now I'll push that down. Now if you can see, we don't have much room up here. So this might be a case where I take the clamp and clamp it to the frame. But you can see it's a little bit tricky because that clamp might be coming off. So I'll try doing it this way. And you know you have a good glue joint if I look inside and you see some squeeze out. Same with what just happened right there. You wanna cut it there? Probably. I have my four clamps on, but I'm also gonna add a fifth clamp, which is down kind of in the middle of the block. I like doing that and this one works nice because it actually reaches through that clasp and here's what I was talking about before. I'm clamping the block to the sides and to the frame 
clamping them all in one. And then take a look on the inside, make sure your squeeze out isn't too bad because we do want to be somewhat neat and meticulous with our glue. Then I'm going to repeat, repeat the same step for up here at my neck block. You could wait a day, you could do it in the same day if there's enough clamps.